Hello and thank you for joining my channel today. So today I'm doing the eye off, the head off, the head to head using the very expensive modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills versus the $10 palette Royals from the Hush website or Hush, what do you call those little things? You know, on your iPhone, the little tiles. Anyways, if you download Hush, you can find the Royals palette for $10, and then you know where you can find the Modern Renaissance palette. So how did I feel about these? The Modern Renaissance is on my right eye. The Royals palette is on my left eye. So here's my thoughts on the palettes. The Anastasia Beverly Hills has a lot of fallout, a lot of pigment, and is fun to use. The colors are absolutely stunning and that's why it's a cult classic. Now, the Royals palette does have bigger pan sizes. The colors are basically identical, as you can see. They both have mirrors on the inside, which makes it nice. The Royals palette is a little bit more long and slender than the Modern Renaissance, and the Modern Renaissance has that velvety feel on the outside, where the Royals palette is just kind of a cardboard finish. But, do we care about the fact that there is a plush outer exterior on Modern Renaissance for the price that you can save by using the Royals? No, we don't care that it's that pretty on the outside. So the Royals palette held up very well. The only problem I had with one of the colors is Grand, which is this dark brown. My eyes were watering because I have allergies nonstop here in Texas, and so, when I went to blend, I had blended a little bit of my tears into it, which made it patchy. Then I tried to fix it, and it didn't fix that easy. So anyways, I, I say that I had a problem with the color Grand, but again, the, that problem was really because of my eyes always watering. So anyhow, if I had the choice of purchasing them, I would probably stay with the Royals palette because you do get the same colors you get the same payoff. It's really good and it's only $10. So for my ladies on a budget or gentlemen on a budget, hands down I would say pick up the Royals and don't worry about having the cult classic modern renaissance. Those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear yours, especially if you've used both palettes. So if you have any comments or questions, please put those below. And if you wanna see how I created this eye look, stay tuned. So today we're going to use the Royals Bad Habit palette that looks like this. And we are going to compare it to the Modern Renaissance palette. So I'm gonna do one eye with the Modern Renaissance, one eye with the Royals. And we're gonna see how these look comparatively. So here we go. I'm gonna take Golden Ochre. Next, I'm going to take raw sienna. I'm going to flip over to the Royals palette and do the same. We're going to start with the color opulent. Then we're going to go in with the color Noble. And here's to my YouTubers. I think I'm going to pick up this red ochre. Then we'll pick up the Cypress Umber. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the Royals palette and do the same on the other side. The color is called Rain. We're gonna pick up the color Grand. Okay, 
Okay, what's crazy is this palette has less fallout. The colors are coming in very similar and it's only $10. Who doesn't love a $10 palette that performs? Oh my goodness. All right, let's blend these out. That one did not blend out as well, so I'm gonna pick up some more of the color Grand because it ended up being patchy. I just bragged, so of course, as soon as I brag, something falls apart. We're gonna go back in with the color Noble. And then we'll do the same on the other side with the raw sienna. Uh-oh, I need my blender. Uh-oh, went in too deep. Went crazy. I'm gonna do a partial cut crease. Next, we're gonna take the color Primavera. Just back up just a dab of that red ochre and kind of smooth over the Primavera line. With the Royals palette, we're gonna pick up the color Queen. And who doesn't like to be a queen? The Queen is picking up more of a white where the other is picking up more of a golden yellow. That is a really big difference. Oh, you know why? Because I should have picked up the color Crown. I, got, I saw the word queen and I was like, okay, I need that color in my life. How about we go over the top with crown, which is the golden color. There we go. Goodness. We're gonna pick up the color rain again and kind of buff over that line. Now I am going to try to get a little bit more of that grand. And I think my eye was, well, my eye was watering when I went to blend it. And I think that's kind of what made this patchy. So that's dried out. Now I'm gonna pick up the color Treasury, which is gonna go under my brow bone or under my eye brows and the matching color in the ABH is ooh, tempura and I did not lend my brush or tap my brush that just went everywhere so we got the basics as far as matching kind of go over and do one final blend on camera, on, in person, it doesn't look as harsh as it does in person. So hopefully that just softened it up. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs. This color is in Earthquake. Line my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with the Cypress Umber. Then we're gonna pick up some red ochre. Matching, we're gonna do some grand. We're gonna pick up the color rain. And get some liquid eyeliner, which, oh my gosh, my husband is home right now. He's never home when I film, and so I feel like I can be stupid without him seeing how stupid I am. But it's been really hard to film with him walking around. I'm not feeling like I can be my stupid normal self. It's so much easier to be a geek when your husband's not around. Although he's used to it, so I don't know why I feel a little weird. All right, so eyeliner. I think I'm gonna go with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow Pomade. This is in chocolate. I know it's technically a eyebrow, but sometimes I like to use this as an eyeliner, not just an eyebrow pomade. I don't necessarily want a perfect line like a liquid eyeliner would do.
I'm going to use the Lippy uh, Plush Matte for Makeup Geek called Soccer Mom. I'm going to do my mascara, add some false eyelashes, finish my hair, and then I will do kind of my wrap up review. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.